talk of calm against a backdrop of war. As Palestinians washed away the blood from Israel's latest airstrike, Hamas and Israel agreed to a ceasefire. Although announced by Hamas, the ceasefire agreement, which took two months to mediate by Egyptian officials, now will include all of the main Palestinian factions. It goes into effect on Thursday morning, but its impact could be felt immediately. The news that the year-old siege could soon be eased brought mixed reaction from Gaza, where fuel rations, power cuts and food shortages have become a staple of what Palestinians describe as an unbearable life. We hope there will be real ceasefire, ending the siege and end the internal division between Gaza and the West Bank. But as news of a ceasefire was emerging, Israel carried out almost three simultaneous attacks in Gaza against what it described as terrorist cells. A deadly reminder of what looms should the fragile calm fail. And that is a thought not lost on Hamas officials here. We have succeeded today in, uh, in this stage for put end to, our, to the Palestinian tragedy under suffocated siege and embargo. And we have succeeded to put end to the situation attacking against the Palestinians. This is not for Hamas only, but uh, for all Palestinian parties inside Gaza and West Bank. In the coming days and weeks, the durability of the ceasefire will certainly be tested. But what seems to be more important to the 1.5 million Palestinians in Gaza isn't the relative calm of the coming days, but a chance to rebuild their lives destroyed by the daily Israeli airstrikes and a stifling economic siege that may take years to recover from. Ayman Mohideen Al Jazeera, Gaza.